think y'all got it. Pittsburgh has got it. And we get to go there next weekend, which is now. So, I just love it. And I've been here several times and just performed throughout the city and gone to the museums. And now I've expanded and went to Farm Aid and performed there last year. It was so fun. I mean, Neil Young, Willie Nelson is huge. And, um, and what they are doing for food in America. Oh, I don't know about y'all, but I like to eat. And I like it to be clean and healthy. So to have that all happening was beautiful. And then today, going over to Braddock, Pennsylvania, and spending the time, like I told you, was huge. And I worked a lot with YEP here, so I'm really grateful. I have my YEP t-shirt. I'll be all cute in that. So there's always amazing things happening in your city. And I'm going to tell you the honest truth. When I grew up in Humboldt and Jackson, Tennessee, these tiny towns in Tennessee, I thought, I looked at the map, and I saw Pittsburgh, and I was like, what is happening there? But I never thought that it was going to be the cute, amazing, artistic, and creative, beautiful, inspiring town that I get from it. And I came in here, and I was wearing my Andy Warhol t-shirt. I got off the plane. It was just one epic moment after another. So I might move here, just letting you know. Hopefully the neighbors will be able to watch my plants because I'm a huge plant lover. And um, yeah, wherever I live, maybe it'll be the shady side, I don't know. We'll see. Popcorn, that's my favorite thing in the world. How did you know? My man right there, you got it? You got that popcorn for me? Shoot. Every night before I go to bed, I'll be there with a glass of wine, some sparkling water, and a bowl of popcorn. Like, I got soul. But anyway, it's not about me. It's about the baby. This is the baby. And she has the biggest heart of anybody I've ever met. When I saw her for the first time, I thought, baby is a toy. She has nothing going on. She's just a toy, like a Velveteen Rabbit or Pinocchio. Just get in the corner. And then, I went out to a lot of festivals with The Stranger and my old guitar, Big Red, and my banjo, The Mama, of course. And we went all over the world. And as we traveled all over the world, we came home and we heard this crying. <laughs> and I said, where is it coming from, Mama? And Mama was like, over there in the corner. She's a kind of a rough mom, so. She goes out all the time and parties and has fun. So she just didn't really know that it was her baby that was crying. And so I said to mama, I was like, that's your baby crying. And she said, well, what is this saying? And I'm a friend, so I went over and I listened to her and she said, I wanna go on the road. And I was like, you do? She said, yeah. She said, I'm a star, I'm a huge star. And I was like, you are like Pinocchio or the Velveteen Rabbit, you are not real. And she said, I'm as real as Big Red, I'm as real as the stranger, and I'm as real as Mama. And I said, well, okay, if you fit in my suitcase with all of my sequin dresses and my flats and my heels and my hairdos and stuff, then you can come on the road. Well, the baby, I'll tell you, has been on the road for about three or four years, and she is the shining light of the stage, and she heals hearts all over the world. And so, she cried one last time, and that was when I took her on the road, and I put her in the hotel room, and we went out to do a show, and I left her in the hotel. And this was in Europe, and she said, when we got home, I said, what's wrong now? We brought you on the road. She was like, I'm 